So we've just got this from XE in Japan and it's the Hackberry Bionic Arm. And they sent us this beautiful black one for um, Bram's TED Talk. So he's got a TED Talk in Madrid soon. Um, and also it gives us the opportunity to learn a thing or two for Ryan Cashman's weightlifting prosthesis. Uh, so he recently got his 3D scans done by Dimensional Engineering. Really awesome guy called Jason Arcel, sorted all that out uh, with Re3D and one of their friends. And when we give you a demonstration of the Hackberry, so there's an on and off button on here. So what I've got attached to my arm is an infrared distance measurer rather than a EMG sensor. Uh, they're a lot cheaper. They're tiny little components called a T105. And at the moment, there's none available. Uh, Gentex Corp, I believe is the company manufacturing them, and they're going to get them again in October. But very lucky for me, Hiroshi from Axi sent me all the components I need for my one. Um, so, let's show you how it goes. So first, uh, you configure it, so you press the top button for the fully closed, and then you press the middle button for open. Now, as you can see, it responds to my hand movements. To control the thumb, there's a button on the back. So you can do pinching and you can set the hand to closed. So Ryan recently sent us some footage of his hand now that he's out of hospital, uh, which is great. But as you can see, he's got quite a lot of his palm left. So we found a way of editing the Hackberry, modifying the Hackberry, so it's going to fit him. So all of the electrical components at the moment, they're all inside here, the Arduino Micro, the circuit board, everything. So we're going to take this out and we're going to put this into the forearm. So that's up to you guys uh, and the team of now pretty much over 50 um, engineers and designers on Revolvo who are giving us a hand, which is awesome. And the video of Ryan's going to go over to Neela, who's going to basically advise him on how he can keep his wrist strong. Because um, one of the things that we don't want to do is create a solid structure around his whole arm and then his wrist seizes up and doesn't work, because that's no good for anyone. And as we said, we want this to be a medical grade prosthesis. So at the moment, we've got a company who are working on creating a silicon liner from the 3D scans that we've got from Dimensional Engineering, and we should hear some more about that in the next few days.